Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jack Edwards and I am a second year English Lit student. No, I'm not. I'm a third year now. I'm a third year university student at Durham. That's freaking cool. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, loads of you guys found out that you are going to be going to university in September or October, and that is so freaking exciting. And so, today I thought I would share some pearls of wisdom because, as we've now identified, I'm a third year, about what I would do differently in my previous years at university, like what I think I did well and what I would change if I were to do it again. Kind of like when you did a presentation at school, except like, adulting. This video is super excitingly a partnership with Unite Students who are just so wonderful and amazing and they're so supportive of this channel so thank you so so much to Unite for working with me again. But basically today I thought I would share with you some insights into how you can make the most of your time at university and what I wish I had done differently. The kind of things that no one really prepares you for because university is a whole different world of its own, a universe, if you will, and um, in the words of a great philosopher, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. So first of all, I thought I would talk about a few things that I think went well for me and that I would recommend to anyone about to go to university. Numero uno, sourcing out accommodation well in advance so that it is as stress-free as possible. Your university accommodation is your home. It's your safe space. It is the place that you want to feel comfortable. And it's so nice to know in advance that you have somewhere good to live, which is actually a very helpful segue. Just think of me as being like that guy who was at Tanacon on a segue. The actual segue is to Unite Students. Now, Unite Students are dedicated to finding the perfect place to live for every student. Their accommodation is beautiful, always located in the perfect place. They just understand students and they understand what students need. It's a fantastic community. They provide so many benefits to students and and they also have a really great guide to clearing, which I will link down below in my crotch. But basically, if you have gone through clearing in order to get into university this time around, they have a really great guide to accommodation for clearing candidates. So you can rest assured you can still find the perfect accommodation for you this coming term. And the reason I think it's so important to find this good accommodation in advance is because you are moving to a new city, a new place that you don't know, and knowing that you have your safe space, your home lined up in advance is so reassuring. So. Get on it. And leading on from that, another thing is making sure that you have all the decorations and things that you want for your bedroom before you go. And there's actually two sides to this coin. One side is bring things that remind you of home, bring things that you cherish and you want near you at all times. The other side of the coin is to buy new things which are specific to your university dorm. And what I mean there is that it's nice to have things that are your own, things that are brand new, and things that are specific to that place. So they stay at university and when you come back after the holidays, they are there and it feels like you're being greeted by something you know. And the reason I think that's so good is because it's nice to come back to things and it's nice to feel like your uni dorm is your home as well as your one where your family live. There does need to be some kind of separation between your home life and your uni life. And that feeling of coming home is so valuable. And so if you can feel that when you go to university as well, that's really great too. Now, Unite students also do a really helpful kit to help deck out your student room, deck the halls, which again will make that process so much more streamlined and easy. So Unite students, they're out here saving us. So tip number two. So you have your accommodation. Now you need people to live with. And often in your first year, you don't really have much for say in that. And naturally, people are different. People live their lives differently and sometimes you kind of clash. But like I was saying before, you want your accommodation to be a sort of safe space. And I have always got on so well with my housemates. They were awesome. I cannot big them up enough. And the only ever time that we disagreed or there was ever any tension was to do with cleaning and washing up. Because naturally, everyone's attitude to cleaning and how often to clean is different. So one thing that my housemates and I found really useful was to have a cleaning rotor to tidying the kitchen and cleaning the surfaces, cleaning the bathrooms, doing a general sort of tidy around the house and taking out the bins. So four chores that need doing each week, four people each week, someone takes a different task. We had a tick list as well. Like treat yourselves like actual children. Like I don't care if you need to have gold stars to make sure people do it, but like some people won't. Okay. You need to make sure that everyone is pulling their weights and doing that broke down the task. So it literally took probably like 10 minutes and it kept track of who was actually doing it. And you kind of felt like you had to. So I would really recommend that. And also another extreme we kind of took it to was that we always had a big pile up of washing up and everyone will always claim. I didn't use that saucepan. I didn't use that spatula. I don't know where all that cutlery's come from. So we had like a counter where we put our washing up and we divided it up with masking tape just on the kitchen surface. And then each person had their own section where they put their washing up. And so if you have a pile of 12 mugs, 
in your section, you can't really pretend that isn't yours. And you end up just trying to keep your section as tidy as possible. Like, it will come a time where you don't want to do the washing up. This kind of makes you just do it. So I would really, really recommend that. Save yourself the hassle, save yourself the arguments, just get it done. And the third tip that I would give from my personal experience is to hang out with your housemates as early on, find a common ground and bond. We love a bit of bondage. No, we don't. No, we do. No, we do not. In my first week at university, the 10 people I was living with and I all went into one bedroom and just had a big old chat. We got to know each other. We made plans together for that week, which was really, really great. We found the most British common ground ever. We all love Bake Off. And so two nights into Freshers Week, we all got our dinner, brought it into one room and sat and ate dinner together and watched the Great British Bake Off. And it sounds so silly, but like that was so crucial to our house being as united as we could be. And we got on like a house on fire. Thankfully, no house fires though. Other things we did was we made a group notice board where we put all of our birthdays on it. As classic university students, we made a chunder chart or vomometer as we now call it. And we also made a scoreboard where it was like, if you lost your key, you got this many points and stuff. And so the idea was that you needed to get the least number of points over the year. And just little things like that made us get on so well as a group. And I would really, really recommend that. Next up, we have the things I wish I'd done differently. Number one is not to put too much pressure on my first week at uni. There is a certain element of expectation expectation, where we all expect Freshers' Week to be the best week of our lives, like crazy, so much fun. And the reality is, is that the other weeks will probably be better because the more comfortable you get, the more you know people, the more fun things you're doing that you are happy with, the better your week will be. And so my most fun weeks of my first year at university were at the end of the year, when I knew everyone and I was like having proper fun. Just think of Freshers' Week as like an induction. You know, your first ever lesson of something is never the best one. Have as much fun as possible, let yourself go, introduce yourself to as many people as you can, but just remember that the only way is up from there. The next thing I wish I'd known is what reading to do in advance. I've had so many people sliding into the old DMs asking me, how much reading should I be doing before term starts? And my main advice here, which will please a lot of you, is don't stress. The whole point is you have a whole year to do all the reading and each week you're studying something, study it then. What I would say is right now, try to cover the first one, two, three weeks of term because you are going to be shattered and you'll be wanting to focus on your new sports and societies and friends and, you know, adapting to your new city. So if you can do like the first one to three weeks of studying now, you'll save yourself so much stress. There will always be those people who arrive at uni having done all the reading for the term, but like it's not necessary. You have the term to do that in. My third tip is to sign up to as many clubs and societies that you are interested in as possible. I always say this, but university is one of your last opportunities to try something brand new. Now, I only took this on in my second year, but I realized that actually I could start a brand new sport if I wanted to. And I found so many new hobbies, met incredible, fascinating people who I'd now call my closest friends and just broadened my horizons, added another string to my bow. I'm like the Katniss Everdeen of university sports and societies. Where am I going with that? A lot of clubs and societies will do a free session right at the beginning of the term, so make sure you go to Freshers' Fair, find out about all of that, go pack your first couple of weeks with crazy stuff and then filter it out, decide what you actually aren't that interested in, what you really love, what else you want to try and go along. And that is how you will find your people. And my last tip, something I wish I'd known, is just say hello to everyone. The worst thing that could possibly come of just saying hi to someone and introducing yourself and having a quick little chat is that the chat ends quite soon and you decide, hey, maybe that person wasn't for me. But I can assure you, almost everyone at university wants to make friends just as much as you do. And equally, everyone is just as shy and scared to say hello, be that person, they will be so appreciative, it will put you in a good position because you just get to meet loads of really interesting people from all over the country, all over the world. My biggest fear was that I would be lonely and that I wouldn't find my people. But taking that five seconds of confidence to just introduce yourself to someone is the way in and it's the way you end up meeting friends for life. And that is going to make your university experience so much better. So that is what I wish I'd known before going to university. Even going into my third year now, I'm still learning so much and improving my university experience every Every single year. In my first year at university I was just not adventurous enough and it wasn't until second year that I properly grabbed university by the teats and milked it and just had the best time. If you are going to university, do check out Unite Students. They are amazing. They have so many really useful resources on their website and the most amazing student accommodation you could ever ask for. Make sure you've got your accommodation sorted in advance so you can focus on all the fun things and get that out of the way. And yeah, it's time to start getting excited because 
it's coming very soon. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more from me. For loads more university videos, you can check out my entire first and second year of university on my channel. If you have any other university specific questions, pop them down below and we can all help out each other. As I said, the Unite Students link will be down below, but for now, I've been Jack Edwards. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. The camera's really far away.